I'd like to tell you something about the beauty of ecosystems. But first I have a question. I wonder, why are ads on food always on the price, on food being cheap and not on the taste, on being delicious or other properties, but always on price and being cheap? And the other is, how is it possible that in a day in the hospital, which costs 500 euros, about now average in the Netherlands, there is only 10 euro budget for food, for three meals together, 10 euros. What can you make out of 10 euros for patients who are ill, who need good food? And that's not what they get. I'm afraid this is because we have something like what I call LADA thinking. And what is LADA thinking? Well, that is when you, have a, when you need something, but it must be as cheap as possible, then you get a LADA. In cars, we don't think LADA anymore. LADA does not exist anymore. BMW and Mercedes are big. But in food, we still think LADA. And I think it's a pity. How did I get involved, got involved in this issue? About 25 years ago, I suffered from IBS. And I recovered by eating probiotics. After 15 years of gut troubles, probiotics relieved my situation. I found it so fantastic that I started to study probiotics. And because it was hard to get good probiotics in those days, I started my own company to make probiotics. We also tried to do research, but that was hard in those days because we didn't have the technology to study the gut flora. But that's different today. Today we have genetics and now we know we have 1000 different species in the gut. We are one species as a human being, but we have 1000 different species in our gut living there mainly bacteria. We also know that our total genome of the human is 23,000. But the total genome of our gut microbiota is 3 million. That is more than 100 times more uh, the properties of our own uh, biological uh, possibilities. And that goes about uh, making enzymes, making vitamins and proteins, digest food components, get rid of toxins. That is what this microbiota does for us in this complex ecosystem. So it seems that the power, the resilience of this system is in the complexity. So maintaining health is a function of this complexity. At least that is what I am convinced of now. And I trust that this will soon give rise to a new tide, a tide about a new tide in healthcare. The old tide being pharma. Pharma is about one molecule knowing the pathway in the body, predict exactly what it will do on the receptor on the cell. Fantastic science, and it has brought a lot of progress in the medical world. But I think this tide goes out now. There are no, not many new molecules to discover, and also the research pipelines are empty. So there will be a new tide. And I trust, believe, that this new tide will be about complexity. And this new tide will study the complexity and then also will show the beauty of food. Because food in itself is a very complex product. Now Holland has always been a very big food country, so to say, with a big food industry, a good university and a very good infrastructure. So, we as a nation have interest in this new type to come. It will bring new and interesting businesses. Now what can we do to make this new type start? Well, I think only two things. The one is stop the ladder thinking. Realize that food may cost something. And the other is build a society-wide ecosystem on food and health. Bring together know-how from seed breeders to universities and from industry to patient groups. That will change the situation. And I have concrete ideas how to do this, but therefore this little pitch is too short. Thank you.